Hi, I'm Debbie Warford with Home Solutions Realty, serving the Dallas, Texas area. I'm one of the top broker agents in the U.S. That is actually how you found my name. I'm a member of Top Agents Ranked and a top REO brokers nationwide and a Toyota Relocation Preferred Agent, averaging over 100 transactions every year. Last year, I closed 108 transactions, average sales price of 282000 60% buyers, 40% sellers. Operate with a team of specialists, marketing, foreclosure, client care specialists for both buyers and sellers. How do I assist seller clients? My goal for every listing is for the seller to bring home the largest check possible. This goal is achieved by drawing a large number of showings to the home. Having the home spotless and well repaired. Assisting in negotiating the highest price at time of contract, time of inspection, and time of appraisal. Clearing up value issues or foundation issues is very common in Texas after inspection or appraisal. Real estate offices and restaurants are similar. If you want the same meal you always get, go to the franchise restaurant. If you want the best product and the best customer service like an experienced chef, work with Home Solutions Realty or another non-franchise real estate office. I am an expert. I'm an expert price opinion analysis for the banks, expert negotiator, expert home rehab consultant, and an expert contract specialist. I was interviewed recently by Real Estate Radio Network show. The topic was steps that should be taken by the seller in choosing the buyer's options to prevent unqualified buyers from taking valued seller marketing time and have the least amount of buyer repair requests. You do want your agent to know this information, don't you? There are a few things that a seller must consider before placing their home on the market. These may seem obvious, but let's talk about these a bit. If the seller wants their home, wants to sell their home, they must be moving. A home loan will be needed to buy another home. If this is the case for you, you will need to call a lender to obtain loan approval before selling. If you want to sell your home, it certainly makes sense to hire a realtor that knows how to effectively market your home to today's buyer. Here's how I'll be advertising your home. <clears throat> Realtor.com, of course, MLS. I run Facebook ads. I make videos of your home. I promote these to Instagram, to Pinterest. I market them to other realtors and LinkedIn and to at least 50 other social media and video sites. Here's, here are a few images of videos on the top pages of Google for Sell Your Home Frisco, Texas. Videos will be made of your home using the photos that will be shot by a professional photographer. Facebook ads will be run targeting buyers that are looking for homes in Frisco. Flyers and websites with your homes for sale, videos, and information will be syndicated to 50 plus video and social media sites. A list of qualified buyers already waiting for a home like yours in Frisco will be sent your home sales information. Let's talk about comparables. It's important for you to understand as the seller that your home is only worth what your buyer's lender's appraiser says it's worth. Putting a home on the market for the correct price is a very important process. First, if the price is too high, then there will be not enough showings to sell the home. You need 10 to 15 showings per month to receive one to two offers. If your home is not receiving this amount of showings, the price is too high. We're in a seller's market now in the Dallas, Texas area, meaning there are not enough homes in the market to satisfy the amount of buyers looking for a home. Getting back to comparables and pricing your home. If an appraiser is appraising a seller's home, three sold homes are chosen that are located within the same subdivision, if possible, and as close to the same square footage you're built and design as possible. The three solds 
then begin to get an adjustment, either in a deduction or an addition compared to the subject. Subject better add. Comp better subtract. The comparables adjust to the subject. Adjustments relate to sales prices. In other words, you adjust what is known, and what is known is what a comparable property sold for, in order to estimate what is an unknown, the subject's value. For example, comparable one is a pool, and the subject does not have a pool. That is a deduction to the comp one sales price. Another example, comp two has a three car garage, and subject has a two car garage. That is a deduction to the comp two sales price. Another example, subject has wood floors and all three comps have carpet. That is an addition to all three sales comps. These comparables then allow the person to see the value of the subject property. When a home is being listed for sale, it gives an accurate price to list the home. We will take a look at your home's comparables. More about pre-sales handyman services. Handyman services begin in order for me to get top dollar for any home. Your home is to be the best we can make it. Let me explain further using an example. I walk into a seller's home and I see several items that need to be repaired. The buyers in today's market want a home that is spotless. They do not want to see anything that they are going to have to repair or fix after they move in. So I tell the seller that they need to get the latch on the sliding door repaired and the front door needs painting. Nine out of ten say no problem. I will call someone or I will get my friend or I will do it myself. I would say great. Now the front door needs painting and the photographer needs to be scheduled. Everything must be done before a home is placed on the market because of the first few days of any listing. More than likely the buyer that will buy the home will be shown your home. It is crucial not only when showing the property but also to repair everything that's broken, not working or just worn out before the buyer's inspector gets there. It always costs more to repair after inspection than before because of this wording in the Texas real estate contract. Quote, seller shall complete all agreed repairs and treatments prior to the closing date and all required permits must be obtained and repairs and treatments must be performed by persons who are licensed to provide such repairs or treatments or if no license is required by law are commercially engaged in the trade of providing such repairs or treatments. End of quote. Every home, including brand new homes, can use a bit of cosmetic improvements. Front door paint, edge trim, new mulch. Beyond that, there are, there are items that an appraiser will look at when they are appraising a property. You don't want there to be an obvious exclusion. Installed microwaves, sprinkler systems, tile in the utility, kitchen, bathrooms, garage door openers, stained fences, upgraded countertops, stainless appliances in most cases. Then we get to the items that are not so obvious. Is there a crack on any of the interior or exterior walls? A toilet that always runs? A faucet that leaks? A sprinkler station that isn't working? Broken tile in the kitchen? The list is endless. Within this short list or long list, depending on your home's needs, are a few items that a handyman can assist with. No charge to you, the seller. Here are a few past client testimonials. We interviewed several agents before we chose Debbie. What I can tell you is that we heard all the same information from most of the agents. We will market your home online, hold open houses and more. What can I tell you is that Debbie showed us how we could get more money for our home which sold for $419,900 by making the home more cosmetically perfect, repairing a few broken items that we didn't know about. No other agent we interviewed pointed out any of these problem areas and never told us how all of these items would change how much money we would receive bottom line. Solid, professional advice. We had several full price offers on our home after several showings. I recommend Debbie Warford highly. Dr. Glenn D. Baird. Another one from Jeff and Katrina. 
Debbie was an impressive real estate agent. She always over-delivered on her task, and her calm demeanor in the face of highly stressful situations was a joy to behold. Her integrity is impeccable. I'd trust her with absolutely anything. As a realtor, these qualities have served her, served her superbly, and her clients sing her praises. Let's discuss time frames. If I receive a call from you and you have chosen me to be your listing agent, this will begin a chain of events leading to the closing date of your property at a local title company. I will meet with you to sign the listing agreement and we will discuss what items you would like the handyman to assist. The handyman and myself will come to the property soon and all of the items we discuss will be corrected. The photographer will come to the property in the next two to three days and take the pictures of the home. The pictures will arrive back to us in two to three days, and I will come to the home, place the super box on the door and the sign in the yard, and the home will become an active listing in the MLS. Buyer's agents will show the property, and after a period of time, you will receive offers on the property, and you will accept the best buyer's offer, and then the home is in the option period for seven to ten days, while the buyer's inspector inspects the home. The inspector prepares a report and the buyer's agent delivers us a request for repairs. This request for repairs should be shorter now that a few items have been repaired. The details will be worked out to the satisfaction of both parties and the home is moved to pending status. You will repair the items that you agree to by a licensed professional. I have a long list of resources including licensed plumbers, electricians, sprinkler repairmen and many more. I'll also meet with these repairmen and stay with them till the job is complete so that you do not have to miss any work hours. The buyer's lender now sends out the appraiser and survey company. The buyer's lender should get the loan documents to the title company a day or so before the last day to close, and then the closing date has arrived. On the day of closing, the title company will disperse to the buyer's agent 3% and to the listing office 3%. They will also pay off your mortgage and disperse to you the amount on the settlement statement. Any agent you hire can get your home sold in today's shortage of home climate. However, don't you want it sold for top dollar? That is what I will bring you, top dollar. A reason to smile, Texas big, about how you sold your home for top dollars in the best seller's market there's ever been in Texas. Right now, you need more than an agent to sell your Texas home. You need the highest listing price possible. A negotiated best deal. Get it sold for more money with less out-of-pocket expenses. You need an eye for detail. You need a small, few small items in your home to look brand new. You need to get top dollar for your home. Find out how selling your home has changed. Please call me at 214-636-7138. Until we speak again to your success, thank you so much for your time.